The youth of Olosho Oibor location in Gong Kajedo district are counting their blessings today because come the UEFA Champions League final in just over two weeks and by the time the World Cup kicks off in June, they will no longer have to trek 18 kilometers to Ngong Township to watch the matches as has been the case in the past. Rather, all they will have to do is pay 10 shillings to squeeze into this little room at the Olosho Oibor Energy Center that has the only working television set within a radius of 20 miles. And it is not just the youth. The children in Olosho Oibor Primary School also have something to smile about. All because of a project dubbed the Ewangang Olosho Oibor Community Based Energy Center for Business Promotion. Paul Sakura, the head teacher at the local primary school, is also the chairman of the CBO project. If you come down this way, during the night it's total darkness. So when we got people who are ready to assist in product, uh, product, uh, production of electricity, the community was very uh, positive. Founded under the stewardship of the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, the project is a hybrid power plant on a micro scale that combines wind, solar and a vegetable or plant oil fired generator. All put together, the plant is currently generating close to 15 kilowatts of electrical power. So we have about 14 solar panels on top of that container. And we also have the wind turbine, which produces about 3, uh, three kilowatts. And the panels produce uh, uh, two. Possibly the greatest beneficiaries of the project are students from the nearby Olosho Oibor Primary School, for whom besides access to the internet that they now have, a haircut in the past would have meant a trek to Tungong Township, 18 kilometers away. Well, not anymore. Recharging mobile telephones has also become much easier. We can charge about 100 or so mobiles. And we used to do that in Ngong. You used to give somebody to, to go to Ngong and maybe bring the, your phone in the evening. But now that one can be done right at the center. The haircut is also another uh, another project or business we are doing so instead of our students going all the way wasting money or wasting the whole day they just come here and the impact has been evident the intention by the project benefactors now being to upscale it and maybe replicate it in other places uh, what we have here is uh, uh, an energy center which uh, uh, has the appropriate battery banks to store the energy and then based on the demands that each of the uh, users have in this particular community, uh, it is uh, given out to them. We are now able to access the internet just right in the, in the center. We also have a social hall. The objective of this project is to demonstrate that power can be generated in any part of Kenya and that this power can be not only used for lighting and other consumptive purposes but for productive purposes that can generate wealth, income and employment to the local communities. And just under 50 kilometers away in Dagoreti, Unido is pioneering yet another method of energy generation that, should it succeed, will change the fortunes of people who live and work in the area. Dagoretti, which is famous for its slaughterhouses, could soon, however, be famous for something totally different. Nyongara slaughterhouse is just one of the many in the area. That is until you take a closer look at the farm's operations. Here, you find that with a little ingenuity, cooperation from the Kenya Industrial Research Institute Kirdi and the United Nations Industrial Development Organization UNIDO, the slaughterhouse is now able to generate biogas from waste materials and effluent from the abattoir. That is not unusual. What is interesting here is that this gas is used to run a generator that now means that the whole abattoir and several neighboring houses are self-sufficient in electricity. Um, it's a step forward that we have to make use of this waste to have something that can, be, can enable us to move on with our daily activities. And with the abattoir producing about 4 tons of effluent and solid waste daily, just 200 kilograms of this is utilized currently to generate 60 cubic meters or 60,000 liters of methane gas daily. And with over 3 tons of waste going down the drain daily, the potential for growth is enormous. This is at a primary stage. It could be used for further economic activities like produce power that could be used to set up enterprises around. In fact, 
Yinuido envisions that a few months down the line, value addition for Nyongara Slaughterhouse will mean that its own brand of cooking gas, packed just like the commonly used and commercially sold liquefied petroleum gas, will be available on the market first for the locals in the area before being produced and distributed in the wider market. It is a dream that could revolutionize the way many Kenyans view and fulfill their daily energy requirements.